Hi, everybody. I'm Sammy Mansfield, founder of Cancer Wellness for Life. Thanks for reading the article today on exercise, fitness, and mental health. I think we can all agree as fitness professionals, myself, one of 20 years, that we know that exercise is a, one of the tools that we use to feel better. It's one of the reasons we're so drawn to this profession. But given that we know, and most of us are really well aware that there's a mental health crisis happening around the world, what is the role as a fitness professional in using exercise for the individuals we work with, as well as maybe the classes that we teach? Well, let's start first with where are we with mental health? Well, in the United States alone, we are seeing an increase in crisis in mental health, specifically related to depression. In fact, just the last year, one third of women in the United States are diagnosed with clinical depression. And this number has increased by about 10% in the last five years, most notably in men as well as minorities. Unfortunately, the American Psychological Association has recently updated their guidelines, but did not add anything related to exercise. But great news, earlier this year, um, just in the beginning of 2023, the British Medical Journal actually published a study that looked at 41 smaller studies related to one aspect of mental health, which is depression. And this included over 2,200 participants and specifically cited that exercise is a, a significant improver to clinical depression and should be recommend, recommended as part of, of standard of care. We will go ahead and post that study in the show notes below. But as a fitness professional, you may wonder, what is my role in this? And how do I begin to recommend exercise for somebody who's struggling with mental health? Well, we encourage that you look at utilizing the dose recommendations, utilizing the main four neurotransmitters that are the pathways of how the body communicates with the brain. These four neurotransmitters you're probably familiar with are dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin, and endorphins. Dopamine is actually a neurotransmitter that we think sometimes is related to happiness, but is actually related to satisfaction or accomplishment. It's that neurotransmitter that also helps us with habit. Well, how do you know you're getting dopamine? Have you ever had that moment where the rings on your watch close or you cross that finish line of how far you're going to walk or run or you get that workout done for the day and you feel that check? That is actually a hit of dopamine. That's that satisfaction of accomplishment that drives us to a future habit. When you're working with an individual and you're wanting to help them get into the habit, don't worry about focusing on you know 150 minutes of exercise per week. Just focus on getting something done and rewarding good behavior, something simple to accomplish and complete. Oxytocin is the second neurotransmitter and is actually known as the cuddle hormone. So with something that we get when we have hugs or we connect with people we really enjoy, we smile. It's one of those things that actually is sort of a feel good and why we're drawn to work out in groups. This is also something that we learned a lot during COVID. The groups didn't have to be in person. They could be virtual. They could be virtual communities. Anything that we're working with like-minded people, you know, sweating next to someone or sharing in how we feel about our exercise session of the day or a new workout outfit is actually going to give us a hit of oxytocin. So really focus on connecting individuals that you work with or giving them rewards of kudos when they accomplish something or you see something that they do well for that hit of oxytocin. The third neurotransmitter, serotonin, is the one most well known in clinical research because it is actually a mood regulator. It regulates anxiety and actually helps us experience happiness by having enough serotonin. How do you get serotonin? Actually, being outside in nature is the number one way to improve your serotonin. There is something naturally stimulating in the body to the brain when we get that time outdoors, get a little bit of sunlight, improve our vitamin D, that make a really big difference for our mental health. So anything that you do or recommend, take it outside. If you're looking for a specific exercise strategy to give someone, the one type of exercise that has the most research on serotonin is actually yoga. Any type of yoga, whatever fits their level, is a great recommendation. And then lastly, the one that we tend to know as fitness professionals is endorphins. Well, we think that endorphins is related mostly to energy. It's actually a neurotransmitter that is a pain blocker. 
So physical pain, as well as mental pain. So this is really interesting when we think about our, um, you know, people say I'm an endorphin addict, or I really need to get my endorphins today. It isn't just because of the energy, it's because it blocks the pain of so many things. Actually, intensity is the most important aspect to produce endorphins. So we want to have some vigorous intensity movement at the right level for your client or your class. This could be impact, but it doesn't have to be burpees. It could be something that you're moving a little bit fast. You're lifting something heavier. You're doing something maybe in a little mini sprint, even on the recumbent bike, whatever that may be. The other aspect about endorphins that's really essential is variety. Sometimes if you think about getting stuck into a rut, we don't have that endorphin feeling because we're just going through the motions. So this could be as simple as changing up the order of the routine, switching up dumbbells for a barbell, using body weight, whatever that may be. Finding that variety is a great way to prove endorphins. So again, when you're working with someone, it doesn't have to be about hitting those exercise recommendations, but finding ways to implement these four neurotransmitters in your recommendations. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks so much and have a great day.